So it turns out Spa has like the slipperiest curbs ever. Honestly, it's like this at times. So it got my goat to such a degree that I decided to do a video about it. So here we are highlighting Spa's shambolic curbs and away we go now. And well, you'll notice straight away that we have a serious connection problem here. I mean, it is absolutely catastrophic, the, the jumping that's going on in this Grand Prix. It's one of the worst start to a race I've ever seen in terms of lag. But that is the least of our concerns in this Grand Prix, as you will see now. Yellow flag. First of all, Jeff's observation skills get a 10 out of 10. Yellow flag. But I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking that was the grass that sent you spinning rather than the curb. And do you know what? You're probably right. You're probably right on that one. I'll let that one go. I'll let that one go. But let's carry on. So we're going okay so far. Let's not let's not worry ourselves too much about the curbs because we've actually made well, I was about to say half a decent recovery, but we're in P18 out of 20. But there's a lot of other cars that are having problems with the curbs, I suspect. So hopefully we can, well, at least spend a few corners dicing our way through some of these positions. Oh, no. No, of course we can't. Oh, he's just driving straight into the wall. The track's forward, mate. The track, you know, the straight on. You need to go straight on. Stra no, it's not left. It's straight on. Well, that was pretty farcical, I think you'll agree, but uh, we're finally going in the right direction now as we've decided to reverse. And uh, things are pretty bad once again. P19, and this is when the curbs really come into their own. So here we go now. Through turn 12, and don't go on the curbs, ladies and gentlemen, because it'll send you into the wall. Again, I know what you're thinking. There was probably a bit of a mounting going on there rather than just a touching of the curb. But is, is F1 really that unforgiving in real life? I'm sure I've seen more curb action than that not result in massive amounts of oversteer. Anyway, on we go now through turn 16. How's this one going to go? Ah, yes, quite badly. Quite badly indeed. Can't really explain that one. But there we are. Here we are then, our second attempt at Eau Rouge slash Radion. And uh, it went quite well, actually. That's, well, ho, ho. Watch out, folks. I've learned how to do that corner at my 16th attempt. And uh, we plow on, so it's still a laughably low position. And these, these curbs are always interesting, so let's see how we cope. We're doing well so far. No, no, not doing well so far at all. In fact, doing catastrophically badly. That's a three-course meal of oversteer right there. That's not, <laughs> that's not what I wanted at all. And in fact, if we compare that lap with the lap before, it turns out that if you take bucket loads of the curb on that corner, you're fine. But if you just touch it, you're absolutely up a creek without a paddle. Whereas at turn 12, if you take bucket loads of the curb, you're in big trouble. So I, I can't, I'm, my consistency's all over the place here. Let's have a little play with turn 13 then and see what the curb does to us there. Just a little tire on it and yeah, no, it's, it's not happy. It's sending us the wrong direction there. Just a, a smidge of oversteer as we went through the corner, but we actually surprisingly managed to hold that one together. So turn 13's an ice rink and one to uh, consider on your travels. So we've learned from our mistakes with Eau Rouge, Radion, turns 7, 8 and 9, and we just went nowhere near the curbs. But if you think that that's the end of my woe for this Grand Prix, then you are sadly mistaken. As we're now getting towards the denouement of the Grand Prix, and if you can explain what happened there, then I would love to know. It's just like the curb at turn 12 is one big spin-out zone. It's, it doesn't matter where you hit it, at what point you hit it, you're gonna go off. You're gonna go off. It's just one big red, don't go near this area. So yeah, does anyone else have this massive problem with Spa where it's just like huge amounts of oversteer and you're virtually in opposite lock because of what the curbs do? And it seems so inconsistent because now I'm on the curbs, touch the curb a bit there, I'm fine. Other times I touch it and I'm off. Other times I'm on it loads and I survive. Other times I'm on it loads and I'm off. Maybe I'm just a bad player. I don't know. Does anyone else have this problem? It seems only Spa for me. Spa is the only one where I have real difficulty. The Chicane, by the way, 
Absolutely fine. Never have a problem with that. Also, La Source. Never have a problem with La Source. You can put La Source on anything, and I'm pretty happy. I mean, mayo on chips. Oh! What a combination. I think it might have been the Belgians that started that, actually. Or was it the Dutch? I think it was the Dutch. Sorry. I've gone on a tangent. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.